fun, you feel the pumping of the wheel. Oh. To find the glory, got to make your life shine. You gotta be working to get the woman and the wine. Oh. Keep the beat and get your hands in the air. Oh. Shuffle the beat, cause it's an African affair. Oh. To go for the park and a home at St. George's. We're bringing the silverware back on the court. Never mind your liver, get your genus spot. Genus spot. Get your genus spot. Genus spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a genus shot. Gentlemen, to Gino Spot Tuesday night is always Gino Spot every single Tuesday at half past six. And um, if you are watching on Facebook, uh, the best way to watch is actually on YouTube. And uh, you can you can go on to look for Gino Spot on YouTube and subscribe to the Gino Spot channel. And then it will remind you every single Tuesday that you can come on and um, and check out who I'm interviewing and what's going on in PE at the time. And uh, also, uh, obviously, uh, our shows that are that are uh, coming up as well. I can let you know that when, in other words, uh, I'm going to give a shameless punt for my new show that is coming to Remos. Remos, uh, there we go. Don't forget, Oaks, book your tickets now because Remos has been selling out, and and um, and I'm sure we are going to have a fantastic time on the fourth of May. Fourth uh, of May. Uh, we're going to be doing um, the new new show, Artificial and Un- Intelligence, at Genos uh, at, at Remo. So um, so make sure that you get your tickets early because uh, you don't want to miss out. Um, also, thank you to our sponsors, Sovereign Sovereign uh, and the Fitch and Leaves, um, uh, who've been supporting us fantastically over the last little while, and also Amobia, our internet service provider as well. Nicola and the team have been absolutely spectacular with their, with their service. Whenever, whenever there's a problem, there's no problem. Nicola's got it sorted. So thank you to Amobia for the inter, interweb. Also, Grace at Fetch Cats for bringing us food every now and again. She, uh, she brings us food every uh, to feed the, poor, feed the poor people here in the studio. And uh, thank you. So thank you to, uh, to Grace from Fat Cats as well. Local supplies, local things. That's what Gino Spot is all about. It's about the local uh, content, the local people. So if you want to get to know the people of Gabacha, of PE, of uh, Nelson Mandela Bay, and even of the Eastern Cape, like we go as far as East London and Port Alfred and St. Francis and Queenstown and wherever we need to go to find interesting people and uh, bring it to you on Tuesday night at half past six. So uh, we're not going to dilly-dally tonight because we've got Kurt Brunner who's going to be talking about four by fouring and, uh, and 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 seeing the country. And my God, he's, been, he's had his finger in all sorts of pies over the years. I've known Kurt, I think, since I was probably seven or eight years old, somewhere around there, and um, and always been interesting. We um, He's been with, uh, with the four by fouring um, for quite a while now, uh, for at least 20 years, I'm sure. And uh, so we're going to be talking four by fours and what you can, uh, what, what he's been busy with um, putting together that, you know, tents and, and camping equipment and all sorts to get you out into the wilderness. So I think, and, and I've been, I've been doing that, trying to, trying to do that for a little while now to see the Eastern Cape. You know, we are living here in one of the most beautiful spots in the world. And uh, all we need to do is get out of our house and off our phones, I understand, except on a Tuesday night 
at half of six when you're going to be watching Gino Spot and finding out how to get <laughs> to get off Facebook and and uh, and YouTube. So I'm glad you're all uh, all watching and all settled in. Get yourself something to drink. I've got a little, we've got a little gin and tonic. We're running out, and we've got a punters here. I see uh, Keith Clark has brought us a punt is too fantastic. So very pleased. And uh, th thanks to Keith for, for that too. He keeps us supplied with a bit of gin. Um, and we no more dilly-dallying around. We're going to get to our guest right away. So let's get the intro going. Ooh, welcome to the show. Now it's your turn to shine. We're going to have a lucky chat tonight. And that's our first one with our new format. You can see the new, new relaxed format. Uh, good, brother. <laughs> Lovely to have you on. Fantastic nice to, to have you. you. Have you here? We'll just get your mic right. Make sure that you got to get. We can hear you. And uh, and uh, yeah, we're trying out the new the new couch couch potato kind of kind of look for a for a bit of a change. We're trying to change things up here with Gino Spot. Hoping it would be leather at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. It's just you know we're gonna, yeah, when, when you're on a musician salary, that's all we can afford. I'm you lying. <laughs> but good, good. I, 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 I know you're a four by four fundi uh, because you've we, we've been in touch before. Mm. Um, you were with Mega World at the time, I think, mm. um, and you've moved on to do your own business now, which mm. is which is great. Um, it's called Uba. Is that right? Ultimate Bush Adventurer. That's correct. Ultimate Bush Adventurer. Fantastic, and, and and I mean that's that's pretty much describes what you've been doing for the last little while. You were telling me like sixty thousand kilometers a year. That's what I used to drive, yeah, Jeez. amongst all the flights everywhere. So yeah, used to travel a lot, but loved it. It was a yeah. it was a privilege. Yeah, absolute privilege yeah. for sure. And 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 just okay. Well, let's let's start with where you are now with with Uber. So Ultimate Bush Adventure. Are you, you, you've got a lovely website. I've seen that as well, and, you. and you're selling um, selling accessories for four by four stuff. So the the concept of the business is eight to ten years old. Yeah, it's been in my head and my heart for a long, long time. Okay, and as all things, you know, it seasons change, and it got to a point where I needed to make a change hmm. and started steering in that direction. Your own and boss, own boss. Um, Entrepreneur. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> very, it's a, it's a long, interesting story. I'll save yeah. the gory details. Yes. Okay. But I'm in a good space. Yeah. Uh, the business is a year and one month old. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah. they say a thousand days Fresh. to get a, a business going. Yeah. And yes. I'm blessed. It's it's going well. I've got exciting new products. I'm having yeah. fun. And the biggest thing is I've got peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. And money can't buy peace. You're right. You're yeah. right. Peace in your Yo. in your cup. Yo, and, and there's so many people like like we, you know, that that's a uh, you being sort of having having a um uh, like you say, peace in your cup. If your own your own boss as an entrepreneur, that that is one thing that you can get right, you know. Mm. And um, working for a boss, it's it's got to be tough sometimes. So, well, uh, you know, without getting too heavy or dramatic yeah, yeah, um yeah. your job is what you get paid to do yeah your work is your gift yes your gift is music comedy yeah you can never get fired from it yeah <laughs> Where, wherever you go in the world <laughs> tried yeah, no think about it wherever you go in the world you can never lose your job because yeah. it's a gift that you've been given your job is what you do to earn a salary that you can lose yes so try and operate in your gift which is your work and you'll never work a day. I like that. Uh, that's yeah. a, that, that is a. Yeah, my a dad was one, one of the few people. It's a very I know. succinct way of putting yeah, it. I'm yeah, say. yeah, yeah. My dad was one of the few people that I know that, in the latter part of his life, yes. his his passion, his hobby, his gift earned him his life, yeah. his livelihood. Well, just just to fill people in as well, mm. Kurt's dad was uh, your your dad's first name, Michael. Mike Mike Brunner. Was uh, was in Isidingo? Was it Isidingo mm. that he was amongst in? Other things, amongst yeah. many, very. Well, I, was, uh, yeah. I always thought he was in the villages, but you say everybody confuses him in no, uh, with the villages. It wasn't no. the villages; no. it was Isidingo, yeah. and and various other movies. So he was an actor. Mm. It's funny, and, and and you never follow. You, I know you were in the choir at school. I remember that. I played the trumpet. Yes, yeah. Of course, we played as a kid. We yes. played as a cadet band together. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and the verge up and down, yeah, up and down. <laughs> You know, and, and and I don't know if you remember. Um, uh, it's a little, so we 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 digressing already. You know, okay. ADD, <laughs> the ADD is out the window already. But we at, at Victoria Park, 
we had, I think it was Mr. Stead that used to run the band. And then uh, it, we got into, it was cadet band time and, and we were all in the band. So, so we used to just gather outside the school and practice. We used to get our instruments, go there, practice. But we, after a while, we realized we didn't have a teacher because they'd forgotten to kind of sign anybody there. So we used to have a jolly every just day. Just I hated cadets. <laughs> Yeah. But the band was fine. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. I preferred the proper music side of things. Yeah, like that yeah. marching up and down. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That's right. for the birds. But we used to, we used to just uh, yeah, chill yeah. out in the sun and, yeah. and jam a bit, you know. <laughs> I eventually. I guess I'd forgotten. <laughs> we didn't have a teacher for a year or something. It was yeah, crazy. Oh, that's crazy. But, um, but yeah, so so you didn't, but you didn't follow the music into into work, obviously. You... No, my dad always wanted to nudge me into the acting thing. Okay. It's, just, it's just not for me, huh? I, I did a bit of theater, did a couple yeah. of plays at school, a couple of plays at the opera house. Loved, I love singing, yeah. love music, I always have. But just to make it my, my vocation, not for me. But you certainly are a sort of a people person. You're out there. So, you know, you're not, you're not a quiet well, introvert. Well, you know, you, you see. There you go. Look at that. Ingrid says, Ingrid Kreef. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, says, Ingrid. Kurt is an amazing trumpet player as well as an excellent actor. Hey, thank Obviously you. Obviously done some work for Ingrid and Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you finally said, I was talking to somebody the other day who I haven't, she, she lives in the, in the UK, and she said something to me the other day about who she thought I was. Yeah. It's nothing <laughs> like I was. It was her perception of me. And it's amazing. Yes. Eh? You, yeah. you you see someone, I mean, school, I think school friendships are those friendships or relationships that will last the longest because yeah. you are growing up, you're maturing, yes. you're figuring out who you are, you're figuring out the world together. Yes. And I and, and she told me what she thought about me. And I thought, I'm nothing like that. <laughs> it's amazing. So, so I, I was, she perceived me as this outward going person and what, what, yeah, what. Yeah. I could stand on a stage and sing and talk, I had yeah. no problem. Yeah. But I was actually quite a shy guy inside, yeah, believe yeah. it or yeah. not. <laughs> I, just, I hid it well. Yes, yes. Yeah, and it's, it's just cool. interesting. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> but yeah, you know, those, those formative years, I mean, I'm sure the, the listeners and, and, and viewers out there will, will, will agree. It's like those five years of high school or even, you know, and before that junior school are so, they, they, they seem to take up so much of your, your mind, your brain, your, 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 the, who you are, you know. Every at, at day time. was with the same people. Yeah. yeah. And you're learning stuff, you're experiencing yeah. stuff, you're learning how to deal with people. No, yeah, no, yeah. That, you, I promise you, you, you never, army and school, yeah. yes. <laughs> th th those, those relationships never die. Yeah, yeah never die. Ones. Yeah. And okay, so, so but, but Uber now at the moment, you've got the website, you're selling stuff and, and, and I, I think we can, we can probably pop it in the, in the comments, you can put it in uh, that you haven't already. Um, but I think Gary's, I think Gary's even, might even have the, um, I mean, maybe maybe we'll be able to pull up the uh, the website as well, so we can see. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's a lovely, clean website. I really like that. We we're just talking about about the simplicity of the lines. Whoever your website designer is, he's done a great job. A chap in Durban. What a legend! If what you want his details? Ask me. No, he's, yeah, ex right. he's excellent. Tell you what, excellent. he's really great. And and uh, and so it's all about four by fouring and 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 camping well, and getting out there. I, I again will put a different spin on it. It's about lifestyle. Um, I, I facilitate a lifestyle that people want. Okay. So if you want to go and camp or travel or get out a little bit, then I can either give you advice, yes. which costs nothing, yes. or I can sell you some stuff, yes. <laughs> or I can tell you where to go and buy other stuff that I don't have. So yeah, I yeah. just, you know, I've got 24 years in the game. Okay. I've been around the block once or twice. I know what works and what doesn't work. So 20 years was a good guess there earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 24 years. You know, the, I, I got into this game in, in 2001. Yeah. when it was just starting yeah. yeah and there were a few shops around the country there were a few manufacturers and this whole thing about traveling was 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 becoming it was you know, it was in yeah. it, in its infancy and yes. I, i'll never forget gina I, I got a very good friend of mine to do a business plan for me because i realized here's a business worth getting into yeah. on the ground okay and he's a financial boffin and he did this incredible business plan yeah this guy used to deal with the World Bank. Okay. Okay. All right. All so right. the business yeah, plan was yeah, right. Yeah, okay. And did I knock on doors? Yeah. And every door closed. Yeah. People just didn't see 
where this industry was going to yeah. where it was going. It's over a billion rand a year in South Africa now. And and I'll never forget the last me and I'm, I, I approached private people that I knew that had some extra cash yeah. and every single one said you're wasting your time. There's no money in this industry. You're and I never forget business partners. They were still down in Main Road, Main Street, Governor Becky. I had a meeting there with my tie on, my jacket, yeah. and I went with my fancy business plan. And yeah. Oki looked through it and he said, Now nah, this will never work. And I tell you, Gina, I got so cross inside. <laughs> I stood up, I took this thing from him. I said, You you've got no idea what you're talking about. And I walked out. <laughs> and, and I actually got in my car and I burst into tears because yeah. I was so frustrated yeah. because I just I just knew. Yeah. I needed to get into this yeah. and nobody could see the vision. Eh? Yeah. And now look at it. It's, it's gone yeah, mad. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, one South African company two years ago got bought out, Jobu Company, yeah. for 600 million rand. <laughs> well, I, okay. I, I expect to see you in a Lamborghini then. No, 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 I don't want a Lamborghini. <laughs> <don't want> <laughs> I'll stick to the simple cars. All right. <laughs> she was, uh, I mean... And and, um, and so it's it's like like you said it's, it's almost a lifestyle thing because you've got to get into that zone. Mm. Do you think it was at that time? Uh, I mean, we're talking about two thousand and one. That was really where the crash happened and the interest rates went through the no, roof. That was two thousand seven. Was it? Was that? Oh no, yeah. But there was. It went from from about two thousand and four. It was starting to build and build and build. But but like ninety nine, two thousand. That was quite a mm. quite a tough year. So do yeah. you think? Do you think that because housing? I mean, the property. I think the property was still low then. Mm. Where the when when that property the prices went through the roof, mm. Mm. I think people went into this sort of thing more than they would have. I, it's a good question. Day. I've never thought about it that way. But what makes this traveling industry so nice is everybody's got a car, and you don't need a four by four to drive down a gravel road. Yeah, that people need to get that out of their head, and you don't need to go and spend huge money. To go to Botswana or Namibia or even to our beautiful areas around here. Yeah. You just need to have fuel. You yes. need to eat. Okay. So yes. either you're gonna bry yeah. or take pre-cooked meals or you're gonna eat in restaurants. Yeah. You need to sleep. So yeah. either you're gonna sleep in a tent or a guest house. Yeah. Um it's, it's not that difficult. And, yeah. and people overspend in this game. I mean, I see yeah. Oaks waste money. Yes. <laughs> it's it's insane. Yeah. It's always good to get advice. You know? And and I mean I got a lot of customers that still phone me to this day and they said, Kurt, I phone you because you spoke me out of that thing. Okay. Because it wasn't a sale for me. It was about yeah. giving them the right advice yes. and building trust. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I was in when I, I lived in Joburg for seven years. Yeah. <laughs> this guy came into the shop the one day. A Jewish guy yeah. with four kids and a wife. Yeah. And uh, long story short, a property developer, lots okay. of bucks. Yeah, yeah. Never camped. Okay. Wants to start camping. What does yeah. he need? Yeah. I could have sold this oak the entire business. <laughs> but I told him what he needed, the basics. Yes. And then I said, if you want a few luxuries, that's what you need. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I said, where are you going? He says, no, he's going to the Cali Harry Harry. I said, I beg your pardon? No, he's going to the Cali Harry Harry. I said, <laughs> so now I realized, I said, uh, what town is near that place? Yeah, yeah. And then I figure, the Khalakhadi. Khalakhadi, uh, Cali Harry Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget it. And he bought the stuff and off he went and he came back again, bought some more stuff and right. he's just got into it. Kalahari, Loved it. Kalahari is, is, is an amazing uh, Beautiful. place, I believe. Eh? I, mean, Beautiful. I haven't been there, but a couple of mates have been there and they reckon it's... Amazing. It is the most visited park in South Africa. Yo. The Kalahari, yeah. It's a Northern Cape, eh? Uh, in the triangle between Namibia, Botswana and into So it's a transfrontier okay, park. That, that, so Uppington and straight up. Yo. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. It's a three-year waiting list now for campsites. No ways. Yep. Three-year waiting three period. Oh yep. my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Well, well maybe. We'll and it's the tourists, start. the overseas people that that are doing it because okay. we, what we've got on our backyard costs us nothing to see in in relative terms, yeah. and yeah. We, we take it for granted. I know we do. We do. Mm -hmm. uh, which uh, Wayne Callis is back um, back from from his overseas sojourn, and he was just saying that that you just haven't got this stuff. Oh, in the states or everything, you know, it's not not in the same way, you know. No. And we take it for granted totally. I, I got offered a job in 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 Perth in yeah. two. I can't remember two thousand and eight. Yeah. <clears throat> I got flown over there. Okay. And the company gave me a car, yeah. a petrol card, and a GPS. They said, okay. "Go and drive around Perth, see if you can live here, 
check the schools out, just check the place out. Go yeah. look at houses. Everything's paid weekly. Yeah. You pay your gas weekly, your rent weekly. And, okay. and uh, so I drove around and I, I tried to get my mind around, can I live here? Yeah. Can I drive this road every day? Can yes. I take my kids to that school? Yes. I couldn't. Is it that? I, I, I realized after 10 days, I cannot live in this country. They've yeah. got nothing to see. <laughs> they've got everything that can bite and sting and kill yeah, you in yeah. terms of chokas. Yes, but they've got nothing else. Yeah. And and I just I just realized when I came back here how blessed and privileged we are in this country. Yeah. And I got ridiculed for turning the job down. <laughs> but that was genuinely we live a good life. Well, I'm here. sure you know it depends where yes. you go in a country. I mean, it's not uh, you know it's never quite as we as see, but but I, I, I certainly feel that it's difficult to fit in over a long period of time do you do you ever really feel like you are at home and i'm sure there are people that do you find your right you find your mm. your tribe your, find people, your people, yeah. people over there but it's it's not easy i don't think you know? i think the most difficult thing is because you don't have history yeah yeah you, you and i can sit exactly here and we can pick up from yeah. 40 years exactly. ago exactly <laughs> because we've got history yeah go yeah. go and move somewhere else and sit around people you're going to sit there yeah as a spare part because yeah. you've got no history to yeah. talk about those memories that are, are, exactly. are, are in the back of your head it's that's, it's that's a powerful what, thing that eh? that's what pegq whatever nelson mandela Bay is all about as well you know when you're here and you're part of the pe thing it's it's all those memories and yeah. all those things you know, i mean true. when i was driving it today i was busy thinking about potential <laughs> questions you might ask me and, <laughs> and and just i mean the the things just came flooding back i know it's like, wow I know the yeah. school. I mean, DP was uh, saying, uh, uh, like you said, I forgot about the, the fact that you played trumpet. And do you still play a little bit in as well? I haven't played in a while, but uh, yeah. th this year's the year. Get the old trumpet out, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Eh? Yeah, no, I will. I will. I've actually decided this year's You're the You're a great trumpet player. Was okay. I do remember. Yeah. Okay. I could make a noise. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make a noise. And so, um, you yeah. flatten my front teeth. Oh, there we go. Yeah, is it, eh? from the from playing from, trumpet. From yeah. the trumpet. Yeah. I must ask Sean Lyons if he's also got flat front teeth. I don't know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Sean is though, he was he taught at BP for a while, and now he's a gray. He does, he's a teacher. That's right. He's yeah. a teacher. He's a brilliant trumpet. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, nice. I wouldn't play around. He always says he's in the stratosphere. That's where he likes to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so but now, now let, let's go back. To, let's go back to in, in the history. Now, you're a PE born and bred, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, and then yeah. and then uh, started out at Gray, um, early, early. Yeah, so did so, uh, Gray, Graham College, Graham College, Clarendon, Gray, Clarendon, Gray again. Uh, that was junior school yes. and then one year at union high for a boarding school union high and then four years at vp so i started in vp in seven okay okay yeah. okay great nice and and but i mean it was like you know for for you i'm sure PE was like coming back home again yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no boarding school was a mess yes it is. yeah my sister's fault oh really yeah yeah she... yeah and she's watching she knows <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, you forced him in. <laughs> you forced him to go to the boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> he still got scars. Yes. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh my word. Oh, my, my man Gary Nokia was at Union High as well. I think he was a kid. Was be, Gary there too? He was there too. <laughs> he he joking. He was. Yes. Oh wow. You know, okay. so, you know, there's history for you again. So you know, it's like um, okay. So so Union High and then back to VP, obviously. So much, uh, yeah, yeah. Coming, coming I loved it. I well. loved VP. And you got you got your your sister Tonya and Carl, your your yeah. brother, yeah. Huh? Yeah. both in PE. And uh, and then you, you said uh, Mark and is it Mark Robin? And Robin? Mark and Robin, half brother, half, half sister. Brother. Yeah, so yeah. I'm the youngest of extended five. family. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm okay. the youngest. I got all the youngest yeah, yeah. of all of them. But I'm the, I'm the youngest of of every family. Yeah. that's a brunner. <laughs> I'm <laughs> right <laughs> at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. everybody's all. Are there now. lots of brunners around? There's a couple okay. and, and the extended family, but yeah. on the, the okay. bottom of the pile. Yeah. Okay, now, now, and then after school, uh, you know, where did you go? Did you go army? Army. Did you do army? Yeah. yeah. So that Loved was like, it. So you finished in 89, right? Yeah. So you would have done 1990, 91. No, army. they took it down to a year when I was there, which ah. was very disappointing. No. I, <laughs> you wanted to go? Oh, no, I smoked the army. <laughs> No, it was a good year for me. You know, I ducked and dived as much as I could, I tell you what. <laughs> you think it helped? Ah oh, man, um, this is one of the things I was thinking about driving here. Yeah, yeah. As a, yeah, you know, if I was president, I would make it compulsory. I'm not voting for get, you, buddy. Get, get rid of all the snowflakes you've got walking around now, and and 
Yeah, no, it's, it was a life-changing thing for me. And I'll, and I'll tell you why, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, my eldest brother, Mark, is 12 years yeah, older than me. Okay, so yeah. he joined the army after yeah. school and made it a career okay. and did really well. Okay. PFs. I guess in properly well. Okay, okay. And we'll leave it there. Yeah. And he said to me when I got my call-up papers, he said, Kurt, I'm going to give you some advice and use it, don't use it. Mm. He said, you've got two choices when you go to the army. Mm. One is when they say run, run as fast as you can. Yeah. If they say do push-ups, do as many push-ups as yeah. you can. Whatever they ask you to do, do the best you can. If they ask for a volunteer, volunteer. You said you're going to get really crappy jobs. Like one of them, they say, who's got a driver's license? Yeah, I've got one. They say, well, drive the broom. Ah. So, so, so you end up getting all these really crappy jobs when you volunteer. And he said, or just stick with the group. Run with the group. Do everything with the group. Do the bare minimum. Just just yeah, don't yeah. stick your head above yeah, the trenches. Yeah. Keep it. He said there are consequences for both. Yeah. If you give your best at everything, you're going to be disliked because you're raising the bar, which yeah. means other oaks have got to run faster yes. and do more. But your personal growth yeah. is going to be off the charts okay. and you're going to grow as a person. Mm. If you just stick with the group, well, you're going to get out the other side and hunky-dory. Yeah. And I took his advice. Yeah. But I can run. I didn't know I could run. Yeah. Okay. I can run. I hate yeah. it, but yeah, yeah. I can walk. I, I, I'd walk anybody. <laughs> And I realized I actually can do a few things yeah. when you apply your mind to it. Now, yes. uh, for me, I loved it. It was okay. tough. Jesus. But I came out a really different person yeah, than yeah. had I gone in. And I, yeah, I mean, many well, more things lot, I could tell people, you. A lot of people um, say that, that, it's, that it's like a, um, you know, uh, it, it certainly makes a man out of you uh, quicker, you know, and, and you, you come home and you're more focused w with what you want to do. What did you do when you came out of the army? You see my eyes different. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes, I see. One's dilated. I don't okay, know if you so can it's, see it. It's damaged. Okay. Thanks to Carl. <clears throat> he uh, shot me in the eye with an elastic. Oh, my word. <laughs> so, a sad story for you. Yeah. I, I wanted to be a pilot, uh, okay. a fighter pilot. So, yes, I made sure yes. my marks were good. So, during junior school, yeah. I was I was up there. Yeah, yeah, I needed yeah. to, uh, you know, my marks were, were excellent. Yeah. And then this happened. And the uh, first question I asked the doctor, is can I still join the Air Force? And yeah. he said, no, your eye is permanently damaged. Yeah. And when that happened, I just switched off because yeah. there is nothing I could do yeah, yeah, yeah. to change this. It wasn't yes. like there wasn't enough money yeah. or, you know, it, mm -hmm. it was something that was, it was now permanent. So yeah. I just, I gave up okay. and I just passed through my trick okay. because I had absolutely no desire to do anything. I just knew the next step was the army. Okay. That was it. I had absolutely no future plans yeah, yeah. because this dream was gone. Okay. And and I just and I also lacked that somebody just to say, hey, Kurt, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. There's other things you're good at and just yeah. needed to be guided in that. Yeah, so yeah. the army was was that was it. Yeah, okay. I came out the army, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I did three yeah. camps, yeah. voluntary camps, <laughs> because I had no idea what yeah. I wanted to do with my life. Okay. So, and then yeah, I started yeah. sort of, you yeah. know, you start finding your, yeah, your you spot. Just, what, what was the first, what was that first uh, moment when you, when you just, when you just sort of, you, you, you wanted to make it, make a decision for a job or for a thing or, did, or, or an opportunity came up? Well, again, in the army, um, I, I realized I'm good with people. I can lead people okay. well. Yeah. Okay. So that, again, is a story I, I had, I was a section leader, what, yeah. what, what, what. Yeah. Um, and then I came out of the army and I did three, I did three camps, uh, one month, one month, one month, because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And it was when the riot started in 91, okay, those terrible riots. Yes. 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 Sure. Anyway, yeah. I'm having, uh, in my Browns, I'll never forget, I went to Golden Rapid Spur, yeah. Sixth Avenue upstairs. Yes, yes. And I'm Martin Hunt, Noddy. Yes, yes. He's the manager. Oh, my so, word. So I'm sitting having my burger, and Martin comes to talk to me. What, what, what? Bob. Yo. <laughs> so you call him Bob Martin? No, Noddy. So I said, so hey, Noddy. He says, no, they're looking for a manager. I said, what? Yeah. Long story short, I get the job. So I'm right manager. there, man. Spur. Right there, there man. There we go. That was my first job. Oh, a spur. I, I did two weeks of training, open, closed for two weeks to see if Yo. you can survive that. Yo. 
I survived it okay. and, and I realized, oh, I've got Golden it. Rapids. That was Remember the one that, I, yeah, yeah. Upstairs and next to yes. there was the movies next door. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I never paid for a movie there. Yes, I used to watch movies. Cagney's. Was it Cagney's? No, Cagney's was a skinny one, two, and three. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're talking about, yeah, Sixth, Sixth Avenue Warmer. Sixth Avenue Warmer. It was New Metro upstairs. Yeah, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't Keith, so Gary. Yeah. Keith wasn't Golden Rapids. No, you, that's not, six, not, not, not a Sixth Avenue, no. Okay. No, no. Um, okay, gee was And yeah, then I, 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 in that year that I that I worked at Golden Rapids as a manager, again, I, I started learning about me and what I'm good at and where my, yeah, okay. where my skills lie. So it's always been with people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then, so, so after Spur, did you study at all? Did not do anything like that? No, Bill. No, Bill. I, just uh, straight in. I, uh, if I, if I had to do things again, yeah. I would study. I'd be a lawyer and I'd be the only honest lawyer in the world. <laughs> I think that's an impossibility. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my, okay. So we agree on something. <laughs> yes. No, yo, no, law, yo. Law, law stuff. I've been there. Like I've had a couple of lawyers. And, uh, there, there's a business yeah. model that you write your own check, yo. and it's not outcome based. Yeah. Hey, Bill, yeah. whether you go to jail we'll or not, tried. it doesn't matter. We, we tried. tried. We tried. If you divorced or not, we tried. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all wrong. We tried. So vote for me for president because I'm going to change yeah. that law okay. too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I don't I'm know. I'm going to put a ceiling on it. Lawyers can. No, the problem is, you're going to send me to the army, and I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But no. So, okay. um, I, I then got a job and just figured things out, and then I joined the cops. I became okay. a oh, also a police cop as well. for five years. Jeez, yeah. like okay. yeah, that was a lack of job. Quite a few people uh, joined the cops from from school because you could you didn't you could be here as well. You didn't Correct. Have to, you didn't have to go away for. But the it army. was longer. Yes, it was longer. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 You did army for two years, cops for four years. Yo, okay. Or then it became army one year, cop for two years. Yo. Yeah. Right. All right. I loved All it. Right. Just really poor pay. Yeah, yeah. But great job, eh? I mean, if you Jeez. like helping people and you like a bit of adrenaline, become a cop. <laughs> it wasn't helping people like getting cats out of trees or no, <laughs> helping people. Not into a few stories. Home, I'm sure. Jeez. Like, yes, oh we used to go down into Main Street. Yeah. And park the van and oh, yeah, yeah. hide. They were still yellow in those days. Yeah. And oh, the yellow van. And oh, you boy. watch the fancy car come down, oy, 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 looking oy, oy, for a prosy, yeah. and it comes back again, <laughs> take his registration, radio okay. through the radio control, find out who it is and where he lives, yeah. pick someone up, <laughs> off he goes, and you go and wait for him <laughs> at his house. At his house. <laughs> Across the road, Mill Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then half an hour later, <laughs> You just put the blue lights on, and it gets out the car. Is now what's wrong? <laughs> yeah. And you just go to him and say, tell him what he needs to be told. Yeah, yeah. And you see the color drain out. Yo, of him. That is not twice, case. not twice, many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I can tell you lots of stories. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sure. laughs> I'm sure. Okay, so so uh, after police, then uh, obviously the, uh, that must have been late nineties then. Uh, Ninety four. Beginning of 94 to time. end of 98, so 98, five years. Okay, so then 99, <clears throat> was that when you started with the Mega? No, 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 no. Like then that? I did um, a three years, uh, managed a cleaning company okay. as an area manager or regional or whatever it was. Which, which company was that? Was it um, not not with Howard Bulkin? And that no, no, we did uh, the uh, what used to be Health and Rackets in those days. Oh, yes. Health and Racket Club. Health and Racket Club. Oh, yeah, yeah, Green Acres. Yes. Yes. Uh, we did them in the Eastern Cape. We did a couple of Woolies. Okay. And so I managed all the things the cleaning and under stuff. somebody else, uh, also yeah. PE guy, yeah, uh, Marius Willifier, nice guy. Yes, I know Marius. He was my yeah, boss. Of course, oh, I rode with him this morning. He was my boss. <laughs> so, and then, oh, brilliant. And then, he's still, he, of course, he did the, yeah. the cleaning. And stuff. Yeah, so he's got his own successful business now. He yes, also grew yes. out of that and went on his own. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, and then I got into the... The off riding thing. Okay, so that, 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 with what, what, Tony von Hooverden. Tony, no <laughs> yes. way. I know Tony. Yes. Tony von Hooverden got it. It was was uh, uh, Muffler and Tobar. That's it. Muffler and Tobar. So they got you into it. So when they moved into the valley, yes, it was called Safari Four by Four Center. Okay, I started there. Started there, with, and with I Tony. knew nothing. And what yeah. a talented guy that is. Yeah, Tony's a, a lovely, yes, lovely that guy. guy's talented. Yeah, he's working at uh, Nexus now, the yacht building. Oh, and he's, uh, I thought he was at the boardwalk. He was. He was he for left? many, many years an electrician uh, right. and and and, and uh, manager there. Well, they've got uh, a skilled guy. Man, that guy's brilliant. He was do, he was putting all the <clears throat> all the power in, and he was doing all the the 
panels and the yeah. stuff and electricity and he, yeah. he, he was basically handling that the whole board for for that but um he uh yeah and he's with the the yacht building the beautiful yachts that they make in st francis oh uh, he's he's on board the on board there sure yeah. Jake, a very talented you highly yeah. talented guy yeah and so so you learned from from i learned Muffler, a lot from tony uh, tony gee was, yeah okay. yeah so that's that's why i started out I don't know if there's any comments or anything yet. I'm a service because yes, there we go. There's a couple that who's, who's watching. Yes, that uh, Ingrid says says hello. Of course, Vivian. Hello, Viv. Uh, she, she, uh, Vivian was. I think she was overseas. Shy like Gino. He, she says <laughs> shy like me because he said you were shy. Enjoying my camping days, at, uh, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Uh, camping days through the Okavonga Delta. We've been up there. I have. Yeah, it's lekker. Very lekker. You drive there? Yeah. All the way from here? Yeah. Oh, my God. Best mentor in life. Uh, oh, he used Tace to work with me. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, Tace worked with you as well. Hello, Yaku Tace. Hello, Hello Yaku. Uncle. I'm not your uncle. <laughs> Just used to work with him. Okay. Yeah. Uncle. Oh. <laughs> um, you are the um, you to get to a certain age yeah. and everyone calls you um, Yes, that's terrible. <laughs> It's not like it. <laughs> so, so I want to find out now. So, uh, I mean, okay. So you with, with Tony back then, Safari, did that turn into? Megalander? Well, it's when I was with um, uh, Tony then left okay. and a new owner took over. And that's when I realized I, there's money in this game. Yeah. Okay. And that's when my pal did the business plan and I okay. Okay. looked for finance to go on my own. Yes. And I just, nobody saw the, yeah. where this thing was going to go. So then. Yeah, how uh, did it, what, what broke that, uh, that drought? After that, what drop? I mean, if you're saying like like you couldn't find finance, you couldn't find things. Well, the, or did you just start small then? No, no, I then got employed because oh. I I then phoned the owner of what was then Four by Four Mega World, okay. two stores, right. and I said I want some money because I want to start a yeah. business. They said, well, I won't give you money; I'll employ you. Okay. <clears throat> so they employed me to start the PE shop. Wow! And okay. that was my my entrance there in two thousand and three. Okay. So yeah. you glided in. So that was a guy that an Australian. Who had the vision yeah knowing what's happening in australia yes. and it's coming here ah. and he interesting was a visionary that, yeah yeah so <clears throat> so you see it happening elsewhere uh, i wonder how many businesses are are, are like that is that is that a good is that a good um uh, sort of uh, benchmark to look at you say you find a business that's really doing well in australia or particularly australia because it's it, it, they say it very uh, culturally very similar yeah. to South Africa. Yeah. So you see it taken off there. Therefore, is it going to go well here? We should, we should all be looking for stuff there. Well, no, I mean, there's opportunity everywhere. Yeah. My dad always used to say that, uh, and I'm sure you've heard it before, that uh, um, a recession brings out people's creativity. Yeah. All of a sudden, you don't have a job anymore. Yeah. What am I going to do? Well, look at Gino's spot. There we go. There you go. <laughs> COVID made yeah. people think, yo, what am I going to do for money? Yeah. So people made booze, people made yeah. all sorts of funny things, and they had to get creative. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing wrong with a good recession every now and yeah, then, just yeah. to get people <laughs> thinking again. But you get yes. lazy, man. It's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Got to use the thing. True. Yeah. So so he saw that and and uh, and, mm. and started it here. And what what year was that? Two thousand and three. Two thousand and three. Okay. Mm. So then from then and then I mean you know I don't know how many years of of service you, you gave four by four but um, that's that's a long time 17 yeah, 17 years that's a that mm. is amazing it was a bit of a hiatus in the middle which was yeah. a disaster uh, <clears throat> but okay. um in all in all 17 years yeah, yeah amazing mm. and then and then on to now Uba. my own thing yes your own yeah. thing now which is entrepreneurial which is is terrifying in some respects but uh but also rejuvenating and, and exciting. Yeah, you know, I think apart from the peace thing, I mean, yeah. I, I get to take a piece of paper and take that's what's in here yeah. and I get to put it there yeah. and I get to make it. And it's yours. Yes, I cannot tell you. It's no different than you writing a song. Yeah. Yeah, you mean so you're creating somebody for uh, something yeah. for somebody? Yeah. There they come a, to you and they say, "I've got a problem." I've everything got, in my... this room was an idea in yeah. someone's head. This couch, this table, this glass, this microphone, everything was an idea. Okay, so so you actually design <clears throat> from the ground up. You design things from the ground up. But my, uh, so so give us an example of something that that somebody asked you about and you've done it. 
Well, if you go to my website, you'll yeah. see there's a thing that fits in the back of your tire and yeah. it clips open to carry wood or jerry cans, and it's also a table. Tire? Yeah, so Not it's an it. aluminium frame, yeah. and you strap it onto your spare wheel that's on the back oh. of your vehicle. Okay. And then it's got a, a flip, a yes. lid that flips down, and you can pack your wood on it, because wood's always an issue. Yes. Okay. If you've got a station wagon, where do you put the wood? Yes. If you put it inside, wood's a terrible thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you always need a working surface, so... That I just looked, okay. looked at spare wheels, thinking, "Oh, it's dead real estate dead space." There. Yeah. And then the other one was there's yeah. a product that fits on the bonnet of a Land Cruiser that you put your um, sand tracks on. I mean, a bonnet is a massive piece of space that's doing nothing. Sand tracks. Tell those, us about those sand, sand tracks. tracks. That when you get stuck, those plastic oh, boards that you put oh, under, you the stick wheels, under the wheels, and then you. Okay. Okay. You know, where do you put the things? Yeah. You know, you've got, you've got so much space, so utilize yeah. the space properly. <clears throat> Tell us about some of these products, because now you, you, you like throwing in these products. Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking, yes, that's a good idea. No, yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I I'd just be the oak that's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, we're phoning someone. Hey, listen, you have it. Come, uh, come tell me. I'm in the color. I'm in the color. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come fetch me. Yes, like. And yeah. I mean, you must have traveled. So, so I mean, where, where was your favorite spot? Oh, can't answer that because everything is so different. Yeah. You know, you go to the Kruger Park. Yeah. You go to the Drakensberg. You go to the uh, Northern Cape. You go to the Cedarburg. You go to Namibia. That just the Where did you go in the Drakensberg? No, I didn't. I I'm just using it oh, as an okay. example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't been everywhere, yeah. huh? No, I haven't. Got you. <laughs> I've been to the city. Okay, lovely. It's, yeah. it's the same mountains. It's the Drakensberg. It's yeah. The Drakensberg. But. Um, what was I going to say? No, no, the, the, yeah, the, the beauty places. just keeps changing. Yeah. But I mean, if you like, if you like, um, the less is more yeah. okay. environment, yeah. the Northern Cape. Okay. Oh, is it? man, it's exquisite. Yeah. And then you Dry. get it. Oh, it's just, it's got there. that red sand and the rocks and the white grass. It's just unbelievable. Sounds like Australia. No, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Australia's He's got nothing. About Australia's got nothing. Then Aust he wants to go to the Northern Cape. Australia's got nothing on South Africa. <laughs> yeah. do, you take, uh, do you take clients on overland yeah. tours and stuff like no, that? You don't do that sort of thing. No. Uh, you leave it to others. Yeah, you know, you've got to focus on what you focus. I, I can, yeah. um, but then you need a license and you need to study. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, oh. Okay, okay. Um, I'll hire somebody to do that. Yeah, it's not my core business. Your, yeah. I'm considering getting somebody on board. I actually had a meeting the other day. Okay that i would advertise the tour yeah as uh, an uber tour and those yes. are the dates and that's where we're going okay i don't do it yeah he'll do it okay <clears throat> so that's that's on the cards okay yeah because that, that yeah. sounds like it because all these things sort of fit into the business i suppose you'll be expanding yeah. as you go along absolutely and 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 then um but like like but your particular favorite you say is, is northern cape you reckon that's, no no is, yeah is that, gina cedarburg have you been to the cedarburg no it's no. beautiful man where, where but how do you how do you is it Western Cape side. So you either go in series, yeah, and into the bottom, or you go up the N7, uh, Clan William, uh -huh. and then in at the top. So okay, it's an okay. area, and then Tung on the other side of the Cedarburg is the Tunkwa, which is as flat as this, and there yeah. is nothing. Afri Africa burn. <laughs> yeah, oh, is that, is that's that, Tunkwa. Is that Tunkwa? It's just stones. Okay. But you go and camp there. It's 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 just it's different. You know, you can't go there for three weeks. You go yes, nuts. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But you go through it and you enjoy the beauty and the solitude of it and yeah. just the sparseness. And, oh, yeah. man. There was a comment there, I think, it was at Elmery, um, it's saying the, uh, I saw that just now. Uh, do, do you have something that fits under a Navara to store bokums? Going to the Vescas and Garth's hell bedroom, bringing, bringing back that stinky stuff with us. Bork, Borkums, is that that? Uh, dried fish. Uh, oh. Those little dried fish thing. Ah, I haven't are. heard that word in a long time. <laughs> Borkums. I, I think you're just using that as an excuse for dacha. Right? <laughs> you're going to hide the dacha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. First of all, I'd sell the Navara. Uh, uh, really? No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Uh, but this in the bar, so yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't. But I, I do you have, you, so there's nothing to carry that stuff. I'm afraid, bokums, that you got to chow it right away. That, that probably, yes, I remember years ago, we had to fit a long range tank to a farmer's car. Yeah. So, wind the spare wheel down. Yeah. And on top of the spare wheel, tied onto it, was a plastic bag, 60,000 bucks in cash. Whoa. Phone the farmer, says, sir. 
We got some. Oh, no, that's just my 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 noodgeval geld. <laughs> just, just keep it one side. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Sixty grand <laughs> in a bag on top of his pillow, <laughs> wound up under his pocket. Ah, uh, yes, lucky. Yes, yes, yeah, it's more. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, box, just keep it there. <laughs> yes, like, well, maybe if you can take the sixty grand out, then Elmery. And then put the bookrooms inside the plastic bag in the spare wheel. That'll be fine. You don't have to keep your money there anymore. Okay. Dion Jabez says, I don't talk down my Nevada, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent car, just by the way. No, just no, no, I mean, but they, they are in this, I mean, it is, there's, there's a range to choose from in, in, in the country as well. Of course, I drive the Ranger, which is sponsored by ECM. So I have to be completely... Uh, with the with the rangers excellent vehicle brilliant brilliant um loving it i've, I've even got like no lane with the lane changes lane thing and and it tells me if it yeah. start breaks automatically yeah. if they, i can even sleep i can just sleep on the way to go down just stuff. about it <laughs> now there's uh, excellent vehicles on the road what, what do you what do you reckon is a, an indispensable bit of equipment for a, on, on a on a four by four on a journey well there's certain things you must have, yeah. irrespective of where you go, is a fire extinguisher oh. and a first aid kit. Oh, Even enough. in your car, yeah. Good you Lord. should actually have those things You're with right, you, and right. most people don't. You're right, yeah. um, so the distance and where you're going, yeah. that should always be in your okay. car, but things do go wrong. Okay. And a car burns like that. 30 you're, seconds and it's gone. Um, just to digress a bit, I spoke to a client years ago. If my memory serves me correctly, they were going from the Khalakhadi, from Botswana, into Namibia on it was either the 24th of December or New Year's, something like that. Okay. And the front guy in a Jeep, yeah. it's not the car's problem, yeah. was driving, driving, driving. He was catching grass, catching yeah. grass, catching grass around the catalytic converter. Oh. And he stopped for a pee. Yeah. Never stop on grass for a pee. Oh. And it caught fire. Wow. And they lost their passports, car, everything. Oh. And if I remember correctly, there were three or four people in that car. Gone. Yo. Now they had to get into the other cars in the convoy. Yo. No, no. So fire extinguisher. Okay. Fire extinguisher is a thing. Yeah, yeah. I've never <laughs> thought of having fire extinguisher. And never like stop that. on grass for a pee. Okay. So long grass long, is not... Stay away from long grass. Okay. Dry grass under a motor car. Yeah. There's Problems. Too, too many, uh, too many uh, hot things underneath mm. that car. Um, Especially if you're driving yeah, away. So again, it depends what type of holiday you're going on, but mm. a, a fridge is a must absolute must because yeah. whether you're sleeping in a tent or in a lodge yeah. you're going to have food with you yeah so yeah. De definitely a fridge so you stick a fridge in the in the back the battery operated the fridge yeah. <clears throat> there she says an electric fridge for ice and beers just got one as a retirement gift oh, oh of course that must be uh that, that must be a uh, uh, goth that's goth samson our weatherman uh, ah. talking there as well okay. uh, elmery so they they look like they're going to be going out on a so elmery must trip. never switch your fridge off huh Never switch yeah. a fridge off. It must work. Let's go all the time. All the time. It? It's got rubber O-rings inside the compressor, uh, which need to stay cold and moist. Okay. This thing about leaving a fridge door open, not it's good. Not a good thing. Let it work. Okay. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it going. Mm. Keep it there. Uh, 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 that's oh, never ever. Yeah, she says there. Yeah, I see. She says never ever switch it off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's got nothing in it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that either. So even the fridges at home, yes, yeah, keep them, keep them going. That thing about a holiday fridge being switched off. Yeah. Not good. Not okay. No. No, okay. Compressor needs to run. Okay. No, well, I'll remember that then. And 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 what do you reckon? I mean, we, we in the back of a bucky there, you've got. Uh, this, I suppose there's lots of things that you can you can also do. You sleep there, sleep in there as well. They put mm. you put tents on the roof. I, I mean, I've seen that. Well, I do rooftop tents. So rooftop tents. Rooftop tents are hugely popular. Yeah, it's nice being in a rooftop tent if there's lion around. Yes, yes, I'm that sure you've be. seen the YouTube videos. Uh, yes, with lions. Um, yes, I've slept in a ground tent in the Kruger on that uh, Lebombo Trail, the one that follows the Mozambique border. Oh yeah. And they were lying around. It's uh, yeah, no, that's terrifying. Fear has a color. It's called brown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's scarier. Eh? Really? There's just a piece of material. Yeah. Between you and the lion, oh, yeah. they they don't break it. Yeah. They can. They oh. don't know that if they do that, they it's do open. That, it's gone. But yes, it's scary. Really? So they were, did you have a, a situation? No, like yeah, yeah, no. They came through the camp. Tell me, tell me. Is so you sleeping at night? What, what? No, you don't sleep. You're too damn scared. <laughs> No, it's terrible. It's terrible. You're in a little tent and there's things. No, yes, yes. And I'm, there's hundreds the range of people. Is there, I mean, no, I mean, he's in his own tent with his rifle and all okay. of you all around in your own tents. And uh, Sorry for you. 
<laughs> that's yeah, scary. That's... So the rooftop tent's the way to go. Okay, okay. In so, my humble opinion. Yes, yes, I think yeah. so. Especially if you're going to be sleeping among the lions. <laughs> yeah, no, that, well, there's that, been that, recently um... a leopard that climbed a ladder. Oh, it's wow. been on Facebook recently, like it's in the yes. past week, and Did went for the guy through the through the mesh, um, and got his hand. Wow! But fortunately, didn't get into the tent. Now that's very unusual. Mesh, or, or, the mozzie net. Oh, of the mozzie, tent. The only mozzie net. That's yeah. the only thing that was in between. Yeah, so they climbed up the ladder. Now I've never heard of that. Yo, I'm sure it's pretty rare. But I mean, you know, you get it, it depends how in in uh, depend how many. It's like an airplane crashes. How many airplanes are flying in the air? Exactly, and, that's yeah. relative. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that leopard kill more people in the Kruger than any other animal, but they don't advertise it. Oh. Because, well, they should, you know. Because it's, it's, no, no, get staff. much more people offering themselves. Staff. Take oh, staff okay. out. Oh, really? No, you have numbers that you won't believe. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. Yeah, the Oki members, often the camps where the staff live yeah. are outside the main camp. Yes. There's about two, three hundred meters. Yeah, yeah. The Oki's on his bicycle. <laughs> yeah. Leopard. Well, Leopard picks up on a, on a pattern. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you got to not do the pattern. Yeah. Don't get up <laughs> in the morning at eight o'clock to go to work. Yeah, and they don't advertise in the mornings. I mean, I, that, that same Le Bombo trip we did, I mean, I was like sticking near the guy. I want to hear the stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this guy had a scar on his face. I mean, that's okay. not the story, but yeah. that's why I remember him. Yeah. And around the fire, they went out. I said, so tell us some, you know, stories. Yeah, yeah. He says he was driving from Palaboa, yeah. the Palaboa Gate, yeah. east okay. towards Mozambique through okay. the park. There's a power line, and they're checking the whatever. Mm -hmm. And they come across a an area where there's mayhem. So they get out the bucky. What's happened, four Mozambicans were walking through the park illegally and came across a, a buck in a snare. Yeah. They kill it, skin it, make fire, you know, prepare the thing, oh, and a pride of lions rock up. Oh, yeah. So the four Okies climb a tree. Oh. And the lioness took three out the tree. Yo. Took one, ate him, Second one ate oh, him. Third one ate him. The fourth one they couldn't get to. Wow. And that Oki told the story. Now, just get your head around that. No, man. Yeah, how, how are you going to survive? Are you going to get your head around that? Yo, that must have been yeah. horrific. Yeah. Yeah, they don't advertise that. Stuff, no, no, no. no. Supposed to they be. come to the Kruger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah, it's wild animals. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't be wandering around in no. a wild, no. wild spot. Eh? And, and I mean, uh, the. I mean, yeah. Uh, look, if you if you're walking around the park, yo, that's uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Eh? And um, it's. I mean, do do you go alone? Do you have you you know? You... Well, I don't. I don't like traveling alone. Married kids? No. Anything? Nothing. Uh, solo. Who are you talking you, about? You yourself? No, yeah. no. I always go with people. Okay. I never camp alone. Oh, it, yeah. It's it's too risky. Okay. You know, if something goes wrong, I mean. There's a particular scorpion, I don't know its name in the Khalakhadi, that area. Yeah. They come out when the wind blows. If that thing gets you, you need a helicopter to get you to oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never walk around with open you No, know, he's moaning about Australia. No, no, you just <laughs> just be wise. Yeah, yeah. Close shoes. Yes. Don't leave your shoes outside. Don't yeah. leave your tent open. Just a yeah. few basic rules and you'll be yeah. okay. Yeah. But it's 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 carelessness. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Just sure. respect nature. Okay, so, so if I was going to Kalahari, going to Kalahari now, uh, it's, it's quite a quite a way there. It's what the thousand, I think the, thousand case, thousand yeah, five hundred, maybe thousand from here, thousand from here. Okay, so what do I need if I'm going to take a bucky? Say I'm going to take my ranger, got my lovely little uh, ranger. What what do I what do I need? A fire, sting, fire extinguisher and a medical kit. That's what it. else? Um, are you well, sleeping the book in, in advance? Obviously. Are you sleeping? Are you camping? Or are you sleeping in a in a in a lodge? I'd probably sleep in a lodge because my okay. My so wife. a fridge, okay. Because you're wanting something cold. Something cold when you when while you're driving and yes. your cheese and meat that yes. you're going to bra. Okay. So yes. a fridge, a fridge, a fridge, okay. and normally a fridge will go in hand in hand with the dual battery system because you need oh. a secondary power to power that thing. Okay. Okay. A good torch. Yeah. Because you want to see far at night. Ah. You're wanting a good headlight torch for uh, ambient lighting yes, when you're drying yes, and working. Course, yes. And then you want a lantern yeah. to create light or when light you just... Around. So three types of lighting. Wow. Okay. Very important. A good yeah. set of binoculars. Ah, yes. For seeing. Because you can only see so far. Yes. And more often than not, what you want to look at is just away. out of your eyes. Yeah. Those are the basics. Okay. And you're done. And then you're done. Yeah. 
and, and, the, and the extra battery that sounds like a, a dual battery system. Dual, so it, it fits in the, in the, in the back or? some cars can take an extra battery in the engine bay oh, wow. some can't so it's okay. vehicle dependent but you need a secondary battery system to power your lighting yes. and your fridge okay. you want your car to start yeah, for sure yeah and the most exhilarating or adrenaline inducing experience you've had while on the road Skinny. what is a cop or camping <laughs> both, yeah, both. <laughs> adrenaline wrenching sure uh i'd say the camping side i'd say that camping in the kruger park with a lion around yeah, was, yeah, was off the charts yeah yeah no, yeah you yeah. just can't sleep yeah, I'm sure. You literally just your heart's going It'll to be too doo, enjoyable. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I <laughs> know yeah, that. Um, yeah. yeah, definitely that Kruger one yeah, yeah. Uh, shines. Yeah, shines, shines up there. Right, yeah. Have you been to the other and, and, and the other side? I mean, the, 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 you said you went to Kalahari as well, so, and, and you've been up to Namibia mm -hmm. and uh, Maun. You said Maun mm -hmm. as well. Been all there. Mount must be, uh, that's also Akavanga. It's uh, right at the bottom of the Akavanga. It's the hey. point where all the aeroplanes leave to fly into yes. the Okavango Delta. Uh, it's the hub. Okay. A lot a lot happens there. It's got a busy little airport there. Yeah. And they've got they've got the rivers there with the crocs and the flipping Yeah. Hippos. Hippos that run forty yeah. Ks an hour. Yeah, yeah. And they weigh like as much as a tank. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take a croc on before I took a hippo on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know hippo yes. kills more people in Africa than any other yeah. yeah. I've heard I've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah. And and you've had no experience with, with uh Bad experiences with no, I'm a, no, I'm a guy that believes in self preservation. If okay. I see danger that I don't need to face, then I'd, I'd rather <laughs> back off. Yeah, a, <laughs> I like me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it. Yeah. And, and, and sort of most memorable experience that you had uh, other than your. your God, uh, you know, uh, so many. Is it? Uh, so many. I just think the privilege of being able to to get out. And, you know, I, I need to say you don't need a lot of money. To camp. Yeah, yeah. You can go and spend half a million rand like some people do. Yeah. I'm, I'm allerg allergic to towing. Okay. I, I don't see the need to tow a, um, a half a million rand trailer. Okay. Because if you equate that value mm. to what it costs to sleep in that thing yes. per night over five years, it's yeah. insanity. Yeah. You might as well just go to a five star lodge. Yes. So yes. I, I'm a guy that believes okay. get the vehicle out. Okay. Less is more. You end up mm. taking too much stuff with you. Buy good stuff, yeah. the right stuff. And you can just keep going yeah, yeah. every second weekend you can be off somewhere just enjoying yeah. what you've got and twice a year you go for a like a two week or three week trip into yeah. botswana or you know and p is quite well positioned for yeah, yeah. for driving yeah. i mean the trans sky is gorgeous yes yes man it's beautiful yeah. uh, which which side do you like to to to, to go there i mean it's the hole in the wall side i think there's it's calm out those places, so but, but there must be there must be other trails along there. Track, tracks for Africa. Okay, is a you can buy the books or the SD cards and stick them in your in your um, GPS. Yes, they've got tracks for Africa, okay. all the little pikes and okay. roads and things like that that you can really find that other people have driven, okay. and just to get off the beaten track a little yes. bit. But yes. now you're starting to get into the four by four, four, by four side okay. of things. Yeah. Yes, yeah. is that, that that's that's quite a technical thing. Well, you need to know your vehicle. You, it's always advisable to do a course. Yes. Go to a guy to teach you how to change your tires, how to deflate your tires if you get stuck in sand, and how yes. not to get stuck, and how yes. to get out yes. so that you don't hurt yourself. Just who learn. does who does those courses in town? Yet? Do you know anybody? Um, a Brent Clark yeah. and his brother, who Ralph Clark, who yes. now I think is living in the UK. They used to do it. Okay. Maybe Brent still does it mm -hmm. uh, in this town. Yeah, because you, because you, you, you're both, you're based. I'm in Cape Town. In Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But I mean, you, yeah. you find find the dealership. Yeah. They'll yeah. tell you who who, who their them. referral well, is. Well, I've done I've done some small ones with yeah. them with with the East Cape Motors. Here we go. So um, mm. they they took us on a because they put their own little story there as well. But Sam the seesaw. Stuff, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Kind of Show thing, me yeah. the seesaw in the real world. Yeah, I know. It's like why do you? I, <laughs> it's I, a tree. I, I, man. I don't get that thing. It's just if you're riding on a tree and it's on a big rock. Why the flip <laughs> you want the seesaw blows my mind. But well, anyway. you, it, it, actually, it gives you an idea of the balance and stuff <laughs> for the car. But I mean, I, I don't know. It, we it, gonna it balance your car. And and those and those up those up <laughs> inclines and inclines and yeah. then you then you let the you let your car go. Mm. It's it's not not pushing the brake. That's mm. the thing. Mm. On the way down, mm. you know, it's run against compression. 
Yeah, yeah. run against compressions. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. You, you just let the engine slow it. The scariest one is your on a manual. Yes, is your um, reverse start if oh, you Lord. lose power. Oh dear, that's the that's the scariest one to learn. It's not difficult. Yeah, I mean, there's certain things you got to do. Yeah, but you, if you stall a vehicle on an incline and oh, you're yeah. going up, yeah, uh, most people put the clutch in. Yes, and then you roll and you're gone. That's no. you done. Okay. So okay. the first thing is you've got to untrain yourself. Don't. Okay. Don't put the put clutch in. The clutch in. Okay. Just push brake and pull the handbrake up. Okay. So that's yeah, the yeah, 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 that's yeah, probably the the most technical thing to learn. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to proper four by fouring, is that reverse roll start. You. Yeah, it's not difficult. Uh, you start in reverse. You've got to do yeah. certain things in order, yeah. and you're okay. And just to learn that order. Because I've seen that on also on Facebook. I've seen all the clips Oof. of these uh, these guys in in the UAE and whatever oh. they're like doing these crazy things, man. You see the one of the FJ and the guy get flung yeah, out the window. Yeah, I just saw that now. <laughs> what the hell is Uggs doing? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Too man. much money. Have you ever uh, had a situation where your survival skills are sort of put to test, like big rules kind nah. of moves? No, no, Not no. Not like that. No, no, no. You're I like more of a glamper. No, I want to be in my chair <laughs> and I want to have the fire going and I want to relax. That's it. And, and I think one of the tricks about any form of camping is yeah. you want to be in your chair yeah. in five minutes. Yeah, okay. Not two hours later and yeah. you're still hitting 10 pigs yes, and this, that, yes. that takes the fun out of it. Yeah, you, you, want, it, you want it to be quick. It must be relaxing. There, yeah. And that's why the type of tent you buy, the okay. type of equipment you buy is critical. You just push a button. And... Oh, there, are, there is a roof. No, there is a rooftop tent that does yeah, that. Okay, well, yeah, it's a very nice rooftop tent. Yeah. But they just buy wisely because the whole point of going camping is you want to enjoy the experience. Of course. And you don't want this monotonous, repetitive work every yeah. time you get to yes. a campsite. Yeah. Yeah. Quick and easy. Less okay. is more. Yeah, I like that. Uh, me too. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, uh, what's the most bizarre or unusual accommodation you've stayed in during your travels here? Have you stayed in some weird places? Mm, Kenya. I mean, uh, oh. on business trips there, I didn't camp there. It was okay. in Nairobi. Okay. Uh, the picture you see when you book oh, really? what you get there is not <laughs> always the same thing. I mean, it's Africa. Yes. But, uh, and, and, um, Zambia, the same thing. In fact, Maputo, the same thing. Okay, yeah. So yeah. you've got to be you know, watch out. rather find a local. Yes. Say, listen, I'm check, coming. Check Where should out. I stay? Yeah. Check the place out for me. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of this Some place? Some of it dodge. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Gee whiz. Okay, and then uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna probably do a little bit a bit of a getting to know you. Yes, a couple of questions that well, uh, that we ask just to get to know okay. the kind of person you are as well. Okay. So we can do that. Let's do this. <laughs> I've got a list of like 50 million questions that I've asked other people. So we'll, we'll just, we'll just find. Can I we'll, say no comment? <laughs> well, there's some old ones here as well. Gee was, I see um, the, uh, the most embarrassing moment that you laugh about now. Any embarrassing moments? Mm, sure. I've got so many, man. But if I do it, I do it properly. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think one that springs to mind was in Luderitz. Luderitz, okay. Yeah, we yeah. were getting ready the one morning to go into the Narmab Desert and you drive through the desert to Volfus Bay. It's oh, a okay. concession to it. Yes, yes. And we had started the vehicles and the place is called Obelix. Oh, a guest yes. house. Like a menu. Hmm. Yes. And I noticed a woman on the other side of the parking lot. You know, yeah. I must come pay. Oh. So I jokingly did that back to her. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I walked across the parking lot and I went into the office and her back was to me. Yeah. So I said, hi, I've come to settle my bill. And she didn't turn around. Oh, no. So I thought, you this can't she was be. Signing you. So I said, hi, I've come to turn. And she turned around. So she was deaf and dumb. Okay, I couldn't speak as well. Oh, oh my soul. Oh, oh man. No, yeah, I, well, that I is just, so known. He's like, what can you do? You already done it. Uh, uh, You're in. No, that was, no that's <laughs> that probably was it. You're so, so terrible. <laughs> I'm oh. sure. I'm sure. Oh, no. Um, let me see. Uh, something that you know now that you didn't know when you were younger. Sure. Uh, yeah. Thousands yeah, of really things. things. <laughs> something I know now that yeah. I didn't know when I was younger. That it's okay to be rejected. Okay. 
It's got nothing to do with your character if yeah. somebody says no. Well, they say that failure is the only way that you that, that, that you succeed in the end. You know? Well, not even that. You know, if something just to, again, go off topic, one of the most critical lessons I never teach a young boy at school that if a girl says no, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. You, you never get yeah. taught that. Yeah. So when you get no, yeah. oh, what's wrong with me? Yeah. Nothing wrong with you. Of course. Yeah. No, lesson yeah. I had to learn. Good, good, good. <clears throat> I like that. Um, you, you have any other hobbies? Collect anything or? Sure, no. I'm a, I'm a sparse guy. If I don't wear a shirt for six months, it's out. Oh, really? There's four plates, four cups. No, no, no. Uh, so I mean, I'm not. I'm OCD. Not, no, 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 no. I'm not uh, like that sleeping with the enemy oak. Okay. But um, <laughs> but just if, you know, you can only use one toilet at a time, Phil. You can yeah. only sleep in one bed at a time. Okay. So so just, you know. Less is more. <laughs> you know, just don't clutter your world. You've never been married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. married and kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Married, and kids. Uh, married uh, yeah. divorced. Uh, got okay. two lovely children, okay. 26 and 24. 26 and 24. Mm. Good, jeez, mm, like, mm. hey, you started uh, before I did. Yeah, my son's that much taller than me. Yeah. It <laughs> was made over a long doing? weekend. What are their names? Uh, uh, Emma and Dane. Emma and Dane. I hope they're going to watch as well. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, and, and what are they doing? Uh, Dane is a cinematographer. Oh, so he's in wow. Cape Town. And yeah. Emma is, yeah. Taking off to, off to Grandpa. Yeah, yeah he's on the other side of the camera. Side. Yeah, so he's trying to get yeah. and, and making his way into the film okay. industry in Cape Town. So that's where you're staying here as well. You're not, okay, okay. It was Emma. So. Emma is yeah. Yes, Emma's, Emma's Emma's here. Here. Okay, oh, I love you. Okay, um, let's see the. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, what old person things do you do? I like that. What the old person Your. thing? Jeez, the old person. Scratch thing. my backside when I wake up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> did so A many. good scratch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't want to go too deep you know, into this here. <laughs> no. uh, let's see. Um, if you're not working, how do you like to spend your time? I enjoy a good movie. Okay. I like to read. Right. I don't read enough. Yeah. Um, I, I do spend a lot of time doodling with designs. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay. Because I you, do spend a lot of time doing that. Funny enough, it's just creative with thing ideas. Also, you know, so. Yeah, you know, just drawing things and then I draw it. So I've kept every drawing I've ever made. I guess. And I'm going to frame them one day. Yeah. And okay. in their products, and I'm yes. going to because they 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 tell a story, you know. And I'm sure they eventually most of them turning to. Products, yeah. You know? I love sitting in a coffee shop. I always sit against the wall. Yeah. I love watching people. I can watch people for <laughs> hours. <laughs> people fascinate me. Yeah. And just watch people, you know, either they're arguing or they, you know, in yeah. love or yes. there's this. And I can sit and have a cup of coffee and watch people. <laughs> I literally can for two hours. And it's yeah. been, and it's a good two hours for me. Yeah, yeah. But no problem doing that. Uh, I mean, like, we were just, I was just thinking about this, this whole thing about creating this thing. So you draw it out, you, um, you, you, you build it yourself. Do you make a, a, a prototype? I got a guy that does the technical drawing ah, okay. on SolidWorks. Yes. And then him and I, Converse over, yeah. he's in Pretoria, okay. so it's all video calls. Wow, okay. And he's in, he knows how I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he draws it, and then we, once it's right, then we send it to the laser cutter. The laser okay. cutter then cuts it and bends it. Yep. I then if it needs welding, I have it welded, okay. and then I make sure it's right. If it's yes. right, I have it powder coated, and then, then it, and it, looks, we go. it looks good, and then yeah. it's like Otherwise, a, version two, version three. Okay. And um, Do you have like a, like, like almost like a theme or, or, like, like, or, or a style? In, in, in creating things there. How do, how do you, do you look at it in terms of like um, functionality or function or functionality over um, form? Yeah, function over well, form. Well, nothing, nothing this at this stage really needs to look sexy, if you know what I mean. It needs to be functional. I am Italian, it all looks need to look sexy. No, it must that doesn't look like a woman. Yeah. Like a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, no, I haven't got there yet. There, there okay. are some products that will be coming. Yes. That that is definitely this going is to way. Yes, you look very but I'm nice. starting small. Okay, starting. No, that, but but you know, function is what you need. Yeah. You know? yeah. So you have to have that. But you know, it's mm. uh, very very German, mm. very German of you. <laughs> um, if you can go to any uh, some music wise, come on, let's talk uh, your your music. You're, you play trumpet, but but who do you who do you listen to? What's yes, eighties and nineties music. Oh, really? Can't yeah. beat it. <laughs> I, I do not enjoy heavy metal. Okay. Uh, it just it's pointless yeah, yeah. and Buddha music. Oh, you don't like Buddha music? So both sides. Buddha music, uh, far left and heavy far metal right. and rap. 
but yeah. good classic uh, uh you know you two yeah and yeah. um, all those what we yeah, grew up yeah, with yeah 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 that's yeah, a lot of stuff brian I mean, adams whatever, and, uh, yeah. um, andre bocelli andrea bocelli I, like like that, very nice. I don't enjoy opera Okay. But the the softer versions yes, of that, yes. love a little it. bit more commercial. Absolutely. Oh <clears> my <throat> goodness! Yeah, yeah the opera. Go. It's stuck in the Can't do it. Opera, very very nice. Let's see. Uh, it, one, one or two. One or two last ones here. Just with. with, with uh, but she was. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, something people would be surprised to learn about you. I'm a female. <laughs> very Just good throw that on. identified no, no. yes would people be surprised to learn about me <laughs> that would have been a big surprise <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I think that that I was actually a very shy yeah. young man I, yeah. that people don't realize that I hid it really yeah. really well okay. the fact that I could play in the band mm. and mm. sing and act yeah. on a stage people just automatically think you like that yeah. nah yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I did it well. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, and and plans for the future. You have got plenty, plenty. Yeah, I would it? I would like to get this business to a point where somebody buys me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And comes and says, "Is and it's a million, enough. jillion, six hundred yeah. million rand." Yeah, go. no, not even that. <laughs> so, but that's where I'd like to get and. and yeah. So you want to build something that's really, yeah, really going, I, a, a going concern and, and then sell it. Yeah. Okay. I don't and then move on to something else. I have got a couple, good couple of, other, I've always had a lot of ideas yeah, yeah. and I've got some uh, that I'd like to tackle one at a time. So let me get this going. Yeah. If it works great, if it doesn't work, it's also okay. Okay. So, so money is no object. Uh, and and you can you know you, you, you get, you get an investor that yeah. you can just put in whatever you like. Yeah. What would you, where would you be? What would you be? Doing, I'd buy an old DC three. Oh, really? An airplane? Yeah. And fly it with one eye. You know, <laughs> very dangerous, Kurt. <laughs> See, this is my night sight. Huh? When the lights go off, I can it's check. Fine, huh? Check out sure. <laughs> no, it actually doesn't look like that. I'm not. No. Um, I'd buy a DC three, <laughs> and I'd kit it out so. as in properly plush. Yeah. Sure. And I would do low level africa tours with champagne and caviar from game oh, farm really? to game farm in a dc3 these... quite a large aircraft no it's all dakota man the thing oh, that parabets used to jump out oh, of that. and just get the it's pilots looking with their leather jackets that's it that's it because i'm thinking like dc10 but no, that's no, no, like DC3. and just okay. go back 50 years in time yeah. And charge people an exorbitant amount of money that they can brag <laughs> because those people do exist. Yes, yes. And take them on low level flights. Love to do that. Go, go and, and, yeah, it's like Rovos Rail, yes. but in the sky. Oh, like a blow train, but uh, the blow, uh, blow plane. That's it. <laughs> oh, good, brother. It's been fantastic, brother. Thank you for, thank you for coming on. Now. And, uh, I don't know if there's anything else you want to tell the guys out there, but uh, obviously your business, uh, Uber, it's, it's, uh, Fantastic and PE born and bred. I love that, mm. you know. And uh, like you say, this history here that uh, that, that you've got uh, huge, and um, and and when Cape Town is Cape Town, but you know, it's right. PE, P. we're catching, we're catching up slowly but surely. You should have a couple of guys here one night and tell stories about. Do you remember we did this? <laughs> ah, no. Do you remember we did that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I got a couple of, do you remember that? I'm sure. <laughs> no, no. Plenty, plenty. No, oh, it was no, lovely. No. Uh, but good. Thank you so much for Absolute coming pleasure. on. No, thanks for having me. Fantastic to have you on. And it was lovely talk talking and a bit of mm. and a bit of reminiscing too. Absolutely. So uh, so guys, thank you so much for joining us. We have got a competition that we that we put on for everybody who's watching now. So if you're watching right now and you've made a comment, especially if you've made comments, uh, it, it'll be um we, we're pulling the lever. And to see who's going to win the Fitch and Leeds, a case of Fitch and Leeds. Dion Jaber. Dion Jaber is one of case of Fitch and Leeds will be posted to you. By, I think they send it via Mr. Delivery or something. Uh, or take a lot. I think they, they do it. But uh, it'll be, come to you. Dion, well done. And um, thank you to our sponsors, obviously Fitch and Leeds and, and Sovereign. And, uh, and thank you to Kurt for coming on. Fantastic. Yes, next Monday, we are having a show next Monday. Don't miss out. Um, we're getting Wayne Callis is back from his holidays, so we decided. I've decided we're going to have him on on Monday night to chat to him and, 
and uh, tell us about the cruise liner industry and what he's been doing there. He's been uh, they've been playing with the bands and and how it is what what the what his adventures have been like over the last uh, year and a half. I think that he's been there. Six months. Has been, it seems like a it seems like a year already. He's been there for six months. <laughs> And you're going to tell us what he's been doing. Do you remember but, Clem Grunewald? Yes, you know, I his do. His brother's remember. worked on those things okay. for years. He does Clem, the sound, Dita. Yes, okay, Dita, yes. Yeah. Wow. He's been on the cruise liners for years. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. No, it's amazing. I mean, uh, you know, and, 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 it, and it's interesting coming from, from uh, PE, from Center Stage, and moving down there, the, the amount of work that you had to put in here to put these shows mm. together, how it's done him so so mm. well over there as well. So yeah, next week and uh, next week Monday we've got a Monday one and we'll re and we'll mm. redo that one on Tuesday as well. But Kurt, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on on Thanks. tonight. It's been fantastic. Good. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget, fourth uh, of May. Book your tickets now because they're going to be selling, and uh, you can book them at Cricket or with Wendy. Uh, for Artificial Unintelligent, my new comedy show with a whole bunch of new characters and uh, and all sorts of cuck that I talk and do. And it's fantastic <laughs> fun. Brilliant food at Remo's as well. So it's a lovely evening out. Wild Mission Safari is saying, how's it? Awesome, man. Always a good word. Uh, true and real advice. Keep up the good work, bud. Thanks, says, Mike. That's it. Is that Mike? Garth Webster. How's it, Garth? Nice to see you. We saw... <laughs> we saw okay. we see Warren. We saw Warren today, and we were talking about you as well. Yes, I, I believe he's had a lovely birthday. Davina, Davina Coombs, enjoying the chat. Thanks, man. Davina, always like a Elmerie, and hopefully, hopefully, you're going to uh, chat to Kurt as well about your your trips. Uh, Ingrid, thank you, Ingrid Kreef. Lovely to have you on as well, and uh, enjoy it. And see you next week. Monday, Monday next week. Don't mind Mr. Show. Excellent. He's my brother. What's he saying? Thanks, guys. There he goes. He's saying, yeah, we'll put some of the comments as it's going up as well. Relax it down. Coming out of PE town. Got a drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle. And exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino shot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and 